Hey, what's up all my Scorpios? You have reached my channel, Royal Revelations, and I am BJ Royal. All right, you guys, so I'm coming to you guys today with a general love reading, okay? It's timeless. All right, so this is for anybody with Scorpio placement in their chart. I tell everybody, tarot card readings are like advice. You either take it or you leave it, okay? And it's a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. It's totally okay, okay? So I'm going to start off with the True Love Oracle deck. Any cards that I use is listed in the description box below, okay? All right, so... And if you guys would like a personal reading for me, that information is also in the description box. So we're going to pull about six cards. So we have Cherished, Oblivious, okay, okay, so I feel like somebody is off gate, oblivious to how somebody feels about them, peace offering, or somebody is oblivious about how uh, they treated somebody. Like, I feel like somebody kind of messed up somebody's perception of somebody. Uh, to me, you are perfect. Okay, and then you have guarded. And then you have soulmate. And on the bottom, it says, you make me happy even when you're awful. <laughs> I would rather be with you, even the you that you seem to think is diminished, than with anyone else in the world. This is a quote from me before you. Okay, but I do get a sense that somebody um, kind of treated somebody not the way that they would treat like their soulmate or somebody that they really said they really cared about. So I feel like now it could be you that's guarded or it could be the other person that's guarded. But I feel like somebody comes with a strong peace offering, really strong, like you can't resist those pink uh, jelly beans or whatever he got. Like somebody might bring your favorite candy like in a goofy way, like you have no choice, but kind of like to kind of, oh, okay. Like this person makes you melt like chocolate in your hand. But I feel like somebody kind of messed up this perfect union, this perfect bond or, you know, let's see, let's get some um, Zodiac. I got the Black Moon Astrology deck. So I took out all the Zodiac signs and the elements. So let's see what we get for my Scorpios. Oh, how many is this? Okay, so this is how they popped out. I'm gonna take them because you have Gemini, I think Pisces, I believe in the fire element desire. So that's Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. And I'm gonna get one more. So you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Pisces or a fire sign. Give me one more for my Scorpio. Water element. Okay, so of course we have uh, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, Cancer. But you have Earth elements here, stability. So that's Capricorn towards Virgo. So you guys have all the elements here. This person might have all the elements in their chart. I get a sense that being that you are water energy, um, the water element is sensing. So I feel like you guys may have sensed something was kind of off or wrong. And this person trying to act like they don't know what's going on, this oblivious energy. And you like, look, I know what you're doing or I know what you did or whatever the case may be. That's why you became guarded. So let's see. Let's get the um, after tarot deck. What's cherished? What is cherished? You have the Knight of Cups. Somebody is very like uh, wooing. Like uh, somebody is very like, oh, you know, you're the best. I love you. You're so sexy. Like I, I feel like they say anything. Okay, they can say anything. Talk you out. Them draws, honey. Okay, the Emperor. And you have Justice card, Libra energy. So you have Aries and Libra here. You could be dealing with the Aries, that fire element, that desire. That's what I'm saying. This person can talk you right on about them panties. Okay, okay. What's Oblivious? 
underscore. That's good. How it could have been when you guys first started dealing with each other for swords in reverse. Somebody is, is impatient now. Very impatient. Somebody doesn't want somebody's apology. Somebody does not want to first start with the fool in reverse. Because I, I feel like maybe somebody's oblivious of the pain that they cause. I feel like this was a setback with the hangman. What's peace offering? Three of cups in reverse. And then let's get one more. So I feel like even when this person comes from this offering, yeah, I feel like you guys don't think it's a stable offer with this three of pentacles in reverse and this queen of pentacles in reverse. Here at the bottom of the deck, somebody don't feel like this is a solid offer or somebody's just saying this shit just to say it or trying to make peace because they miss you. They miss your sex. They miss being around you. You may have cut them off. You're not co uh, co cooperating with them with this three of pentacles in reverse. I feel like you're very cold, standoffish towards this person, even though they're offering you this apology. What's this? You are perfect. To me, you are perfect. Three of wands in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this, how, this is how this person was in the past. And then you have the ten of wands here. So this giving me seven of wands energy. I feel like somebody can't get over what happened in the past with the twin, Ten of Swords in reverse. And I feel like this person or you could be holding on to something from the past. Or in the past, this person kind of um, kind of went full for, uh, full force and then all of a sudden they stopped. They kind of may, may have just um, had to focus on themselves or something that they had to focus on where they really couldn't put as much effort into you or you couldn't put much effort into them. Maybe somebody was literally just putting themselves first um, from a painful cycle. What's this guarded energy? Three of Swords in reverse. Uh, how can you mend a broken heart? Okay, three of swords with guarded energy. Okay, so the queen of wands and this eight of wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody is really not feeling somebody. Somebody done cut somebody off. Somebody is mean as hell. They not caring. They're not nurturing. They're not giving any energy that they were before. What's the soulmates? The ten of cups. But I feel like somebody knows who makes uh, somebody makes something happy, and then the Four of Pentacles is in reverse, um, and then the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. I feel like somebody don't care if this is their soulmate, or somebody might be vocal saying you are my soulmate, you made me happy. But I feel like somebody kind of messed them, messed this up, messed this stability up with this Four of Pentacles. Like they lost something that was valuable to them, or and something that made them happy. Let's see what your feelings are right now, Scorpio. You have the Nine of Swords in reverse, the Tower in reverse, and then you have the World in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles is still in reverse. So somebody is like getting the fuck out of Dodge. You see how this rabbit is moving? Somebody's like, nah, that's not what I want. Let me show you the imagery. Like somebody is tired of the same cycle, the same kind of men, the same kind of women, the same kind of people. Somebody is just over it. Somebody wants to be stress-free, drama-free in their life. What's the nine of swords in reverse? The will of fortune in reverse. Somebody feels like they just keep keep getting these like bad chances in love or these bad experiences in love. Maybe that's why you're so guarded. This could be you that's guarded. The devil in reverse. Wow. See the world. We have the Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy, and then the Seven of Swords. So I feel like somebody is really tired of kind of having to weed out the snakes in their garden. And I mean, it's just too much. I feel like they're tired of having people that's just all over the place, have crazy fucked up sexual energy, or somebody's just always out there, uh, self destructive behavior energy. Somebody is sick of that shit. Somebody sneaky behavior, bullshit ass love offers, and then makeups to breakups. Yeah, somebody's over that shit. So that might be you. So what is the other person's intentions towards you? What are their intentions? So you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Hierophant in reverse. Both of them are in reverse. And then you have the Seven of Wands here. And then the magician. So I feel like somebody is trying to like fight for your attention, but I really still don't feel like they're here to really commit to you. I feel like this is almost like a waste of time. What's this Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Or they're trying to waste your time. The Page of Wands in reverse. They're not really 
carrying through with what they're saying, they are, you will, they have been exposed. So I feel like if somebody shows you who they are, you need to believe it. The five of wands with the hair font. I feel like some as soon as somebody might get in a commitment, I, I feel like still might like may they may see other people or deal with other people. What's the seven of wands? I feel like if you haven't talked to this person or you cut this person off, you will hear from them very soon. Cause this seven, this seven of wands and this five of wands is giving me three of wands energy. So you really might hear from this person even though you don't want to. Even though you may cut this person off, especially with the King of Swords here and then the Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody is very vocal. Like, look, I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with you. Queen of Cups here, you're not emotionally attached to this person anymore. Like, you really tell this person what's on your mind. I feel like there's really nothing that this person can say to kind of change your emotions. You're really, really not interested in this person. Oh, okay. All right, I'm not mad at y'all, okay? So, if this person was doing all this extra shit, I, I don't really blame you because... This person has done a lot, and I feel like you are avoiding disaster by not dealing with this person. But like, I feel like you already knew that. Maybe you just have to be vocal to this person. Maybe they're, they're the only ones um, that's still holding on to this because I feel like you've moved on or walked away from this situation. I feel like it might be from somebody from your past, but this is not because I'm bringing up the past, but because a spirit might be warning you that this person may be coming in your energy. All right. So let's get uh, the brow to ledge deck. Let's do this. Get you guys some advice for my Scorpios. No, never. I'm trying to tell y'all. When I say y'all be done, when y'all be done, y'all be done. I don't even know why this person is even trying to come back around. Because you like, nope. I don't want to hear it. That's why I'm saying somebody else might be oblivious to that this is over. But I feel like you're not. You have opening here. Somebody feels like they're just still, they still have a chance. Or somebody still might have the keys to their house. They might just be coming in your house with the keys. Um, if you guys were on that level of commitment where they have a key, okay, then you have new birth here. Somebody is a new person. Somebody does not want something. Oh, I feel like somebody wants a clean slate with somebody new. Um, yeah, it's freedom. Somebody doesn't want and they want somebody different with contrast, okay? Because I really do get a sense that somebody is just really, they want something fresh that, that, that has not been tainted with this like black negative energy. Give me one more. Working. Faith. Somebody is working on them, working on, um, they might be just working, focusing on work um, because somebody is free. Somebody might just be solely focusing on them. Like this person kind of lost their turn. What's no, never? Listening. Somebody's not listening. They will not take no for an answer. What's opening? Praying. Like somebody still wants this to work. New birth. Okay, that's a whole bunch. But we'll take them. Bringing closer. Fast returning and thankfulness so bringing closer and fast this is for new birth returning and thankfulness yes i like i said somebody why right, somebody is in this near i'm telling you near future somebody it might come back around in your life and like i feel like you might be trying to like start something new with somebody else but this person is kind of like trying to come back um fast to kind of like you know for some for some reason i feel like this is feel go energy like somebody is trying to like uh I don't want to say shoot their shot. That's a different sport, but somebody is trying to score, you know what I'm saying, with you. And I feel like somebody would just be thankful for the opportunity to be in your presence again. What's the freedom? Divine protection. Yes, defeat. So I feel like this is protecting you, um, your freedom, and you're, you're releasing certain stuff. That freedom is protecting you from feeling defeated, from being defeated. Like you don't want to go back to that energy. And working is laughing, growth, and God. Laughing, growth, and God. I feel like you're not taking certain things seriously anymore. Higher level forces is at the bottom. I, I, I feel like you guys are giving it up to God, like letting go of the wheel. Like, hey, God, you got it. I'm just kind of like, I'm working on me. I'm growing. I'm not 
really upset or being mad at things I, that I cannot control. Like only I put, that's why you put this in your hands. That's why you're laughing at certain things because you're growing right now. You're leaving it up to God and these higher level forces, whomever you believe in, whoever you're um, higher up that you pray to is, okay? Let me clear this. We're gonna get you guys a lyric card and then you'll be out of here, okay? But I feel like that's really good energy, just not accepting anything less than what you are worthy of. And who says something? Okay. Not compromising. I'm not mad at that. Let's get you guys a lyric over here. Okay, and see, gone. Okay. I, okay. Okay, there's a thousand words that I could say to make you come home. Seems so long ago you walked away and left me alone. And I remember what you said to me. You were acting so strange. And maybe I was too blind to see that you needed a change. Or was it something I said to make you turn away? To make you walk out and leave me cold? If I could just find a way. To let you know that you were right here, right now. Okay, I don't know the words. I've been sitting here, can't get you off my mind. Yeah, see, I'm trying to tell you, this person is really, like, thinking about you. They trying to, like, come back in and infiltrate. They trying to infiltrate and, and get into what you're doing. I don't know, y'all Scorpios, like, nope next okay i ain't mad at y'all scorpios all right you guys so please like share comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already if you have thank you so much and until next time y'all know what to do holla at a play when you see me in the street pimp bye